She slowly removes the dress and leather boots, revealing lace lingerie that teases with its delicate allure. Tonight is the last night with her client. She shall make it immortal. So? This is the best you got. My intern has more imagination than you. Have you ever considered that the issue might be the assignment itself, rather than my capabilities or talents? You can find somebody else to do your dirty work. Talent. That's funny. That's what you call this? All this looks like to me is a whole lot of effort with absolutely zero in return. You know, maybe it's time you admit your talent is nothing but a joke. Speak. Listen up. Regina's family is very powerful. Jennifer needs to be fired immediately. No bark. Look, I'm in the middle of something. Can we talk about this later? I'll be straight with you. Regina, who's likely to be your future wife, she is set on taking Jennifer's position in the company. Look, this is my company, and what I say goes. I don't care. I just want it done. Is that clear? Give me one week. Give me one week, Charlie. And I will bring you a column that'll leave you speechless. Hold on. Jennifer, you really think you can keep this up? I'll demonstrate that even the most basic themes can evoke emotion, exude refinement, and really resonate with the reader. Okay? You'll see. Absolutely impossible. Unless she does something drastic. No way. Well, I'm surprised at how easy it was to join. I guess I should mention I'm not the greatest dancer. You better understand, this gig ain't as easy as it looks on that poster. Got me? <laughs> Welcome home, my new girl. What have I done to deserve this? Just be patient. You'll get what you want, right? First time on the job? You're probably the last peak of the night! You won't be the last one standing tonight. Thank you for not making this um, too awkward for me. Here, drink this. It'll help you relax a little. <laughs> Thank you. So, can I call you Mr. Mask? Is that okay? Oh, hold on. <laughs> um, don't you want to see me perform first? I mean, like, I could dance. Well, I'm actually not really a great dancer. Wow, you were so right to give me that drink. 
I'm actually not a very good uh, drinker either. Um, I don't know why I'm here. I mean... Look, I know it's your first day. Just sit down. <clears throat> I meant beside me. So, just curious, what type do you usually go for? The type like you. That's what I go for. Referred to as Mr. Mask, smart, polite, sexy. <laughs> I hope you like it. Why are you laughing? Doubting the authenticity? It's better, but... Okay, well just wait until the next chapters. It'll be worth it. Listen, Jennifer. This is important! What are you still doing in this building? Can I get a solid reason on why she's still here? May I ask who you are? Everyone here knows that I'm Charlie's fiance. But you didn't seem to get the memo. What she's written is horrible. You may not care about the image of this company, but I do. She needs to resign now. Miss Thompson, this company is still mine. And this column belongs to Miss Bradshaw. You need to show us a little bit of respect. Changes are coming fast. I spoke with your uncle about the acquisition plan. The Metropolis magazine will soon be mine. I don't buy that. Robert's nothing but a scheming old man trying to push me out of this company. He is not fit to make decisions for me. You don't need to worry so much. You can still be the chief editor. But this column will be mine. Jennifer's position on this is solid. Okay, she is top tier talent at this firm. Miss Thompson, I think it's time for you to leave. What I want, I will get, and nobody will stand in my way.
Thank you, Charlie. Remember, no one will dare to lay a finger on you. Charlie is going mad? Protecting some woman and talking to me like that? Don't get upset. My nephew's usually very manageable. It surprises me too. Need I remind you, I own 50% of your enterprise, and I can make you crumble at any moment. Just relax. I'll take care of it. Just trust me. But this is a closed area. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> you wanna, wanna play some exciting games with me? Come on! Okay, so you need to leave. <laughs> How about you come out here and deal with a real man first? Who the hell is disturbing my peace? Talk to me like that again. I better not ever see you in here. Just, just, I won't. I'm, I'm dead. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to see you again. Don't let me go. <sighs> I will take care of that for you, Mr. Roy. I truly apologize for having to trouble you with this. This better never happen. If it does, I will call your boss and have you fired on the spot. Got it? daughter you're almost 30 it's time for you to make a decision i can't just marry a random stranger that's not fair to me oh dear jennifer he's not just any random guy that guy leonardo is nothing but trouble and i never want to see him again listen to me his father is an important figure at city hall if you two marry we won't have to worry for the rest of our lives Mom, there's really bad signal here, so I can't hear you. I'm going to have to go, okay? mask what are you still doing here i thought i made myself very clear i do not want you working here anymore. i've had it up to here today why is everybody on my case it's like no matter where i go i can't do anything right and you you're a total mystery to me yet you still feel inclined to share your input on my life look it is not what you think Do you think I desire to be here? I'm only here because of my unpredictable, bothersome boss god. I can't stand him. Maybe your boss cares a lot more about you than you realize. You're defending him. Why isn't anybody ever on my side? I'm not really feeling this tonight. Why don't you treat me as your exclusive client? 